Hello and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's housing market update for January 2023. Sales activity across BC housing markets closed out the year trending about 30% below normal. MLS home sales were down 49.4% year over year from a very strong December 2021 to 3,490 units. Active listings were up 75.9% year over year, but remain relatively low by historical standards. Inventory of active listings across the province is just now returning to its pre-pandemic level after falling to a record low in 2022. However, active listings remain below their previous peak in 2018 and are still far from more healthy levels last seen in 2012. The sales to active listings ratio was 16.3% for the province, compared to 56.6% December 2021. While that puts markets in a historically balanced range, the abrupt shift in market conditions prompted by rising interest rates has precipitated more downward pressure on prices than we normally see at these inventory levels. However, there is significant variation between not only regions, but housing types, with some markets in clear buyer's market range. The MLS average price for the province was down 11.5% year-over-year in December to about $912,000, but was up month over month and has been trending essentially flat for the past three months. A note of caution when interpreting price growth over the next several months, because prices peaked at a record high from November 2021 to February 2022 and have since come down, we will start to see some larger declines in the year-over-year measure of prices, even though monthly prices have been stable. The MLS Home Price Composite Index, which is not as susceptible to changes in the composition of sales as average prices, is also starting to show some softness in prices. The HPI was down 3.3% on a year-over-year basis in Greater Vancouver and was down 8.7% in the Fraser Valley. The HPI was up 2.3% in Victoria and up 0.9% in the Vancouver Island Board area, but down 2.1% in the interior and down 16.2% in Chilliwack. Now let's take a look at market conditions around the province. 